density. Which one has more density, a cup of water or a bathtub of water? They both have the same amount of density. You might be wondering, how is that possible when they're so different in the amount of volume? To find the density of a substance, you need two measurements, mass and volume. Volume is how much space a substance takes up. It is measured in liters for liquids and gases and meters for solids. To find the volume of regular shaped solid objects like a prism, we use the math formula length times width times height. This prism has a length of 7 centimeters, a width of 5 centimeters, and a height of 3 centimeters. 7 times 5 times 3 equals 105 centimeters cubed. To find the volume of irregular shaped solid objects like a toy robot, we use the technique of water displacement. In water displacement, you subtract the volume of the water from the volume of the water with the object. The volume of the water is 40 milliliters. The volume of the water and the object is 60 milliliters. So 60 minus 40 equals 20 milliliters. The object's volume is 20 milliliters or 20 centimeters cubed. You see, one milliliter is the equivalent of one centimeters cubed. Mass is how much matter a substance contains. It is measured in grams. To find the mass of a substance, we place it on a balance. The mass of the beaker by itself is 51 grams. The mass of the liquid and the beaker is 155 grams. 155 minus 51 equals 104 grams. So the liquid has a mass of 104 grams. Once you have the mass and the volume of a substance, you can find its density. Density is the amount of matter in a given substance. The more compact the particles are, the more dense the substance is. Density equals mass divided by volume. The density's unit will be the mass unit over the volume unit. For example, grams per milliliter. The volume of the liquid is 150 milliliters. The mass of the liquid is 104 grams. So density equals 104 divided by 150. The density of the liquid is 0.7 grams per milliliter. If the mass of the car is 54 grams, what is its density? Pause the video to calculate it and then check your answer. The volume equals 68 milliliters minus 50 milliliters, so that gives us 18 milliliters or 18 centimeters cubed. Density is 54 divided by 18, so the density is 3 grams per centimeters cubed. Another example, what is the density of the liquid? The mass is 20 grams. The volume is 20 milliliters. The density equals 20 over 20, so the density is one gram per milliliter. Because density is a ratio, as you decrease mass, you also decrease volume. This is why no matter how much the substance you have, the density will be the same. It is also why density is a characteristic property and can be used to identify pure substances. The density of a pure substance never changes, no matter how much of it you have. In the gold mining days, they used density to see if they struck it rich. The density of gold is 19.3 grams per centimeters cubed, and the density of pyrite is 5 grams per centimeters cubed. You find a nugget. It has a mass of 22 grams and a volume of 4.4 centimeters cubed. Did you strike it rich? Well, density equals the 22 divided by 4.4, so the density equals 5 grams per centimeter cubed. Looks like you found pyrite, not gold. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. 
Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos. For more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.